Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Why have some presidents been elected without winning the popular vote? In the United States, the president is not directly elected by the popular vote. Instead, the electoral college system determines the outcome of presidential elections. Here's how it works. The electoral college consists of 538 electors, with each state allocated a number of electors equal to its total number of senators and representatives in Congress. Additionally, the District of Columbia has three electoral votes. During a presidential election, voters in each state cast their ballots for a candidate, but they are actually voting for a slate of electors who have pledged to support that candidate. In 48 states and the District of Columbia, the candidate who wins the most votes in that state or district gets all of its electoral votes. Maine and Nebraska allocate their electoral votes differently, giving two to the statewide winner and the rest based on congressional district winners. This system can lead to a situation where the winner of the national popular vote does not win the presidency. This has happened five times in U.S. history. One, 1824. John Quincy Adams won the presidency despite receiving fewer popular votes than Andrew Jackson. The election was decided by the House of Representatives because no candidate received a majority of electoral votes. 1876, Rutherford B. Hayes became president even though he lost the popular vote to Samuel J. Tilden by nearly 250,000 votes. And 3, 1888, Benjamin Harrison won the presidency despite losing the popular vote to Grover Cleveland by over 90,000 votes. And 4, 2000, George W. Bush became president after losing the popular vote to Al Gore by about 537,000 votes. Bush won because he carried Florida by a margin of just 537 votes. 5. 2016. Donald Trump won the presidency, despite losing the popular vote to Hillary Clinton by over 2.8 million votes. Trump won key battleground states like Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania by narrow margins. These outcomes are possible because the Electoral College system does not require a president to win the most popular votes nationwide. They only need to secure a majority of the electoral votes. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.